М1 Global presents. Уважаемые поклонники боевых искусств, добро пожаловать в столицу Республики Татарстан, город Казань. Лига М1 Global представляет вашему вниманию бой за титул чемпиона М1 Челлендж в наилегчайшем весе. Представляем вам героев этого поединка. В М1 я сначала выступал в 61 килограмм, затем предложили гран-при 57 четверку. Я был рад этой новости, что, что я могу попасть в этот гран-при и поучаствовать, и стать первым чемпионом в этой организации. Для меня это была честь и дополнительная мотивация стать чемпионом. Соперник Александр Доскальчук с Украины. Просматривал много его боев, смотрел крайний бой он. Довольно-таки неплохой боец. У нас получится, я думаю, хороший зрелищный бой. Победит сильнейший. В 12 лет я шел к этому бою. Вот, и у меня была возможность разыграть этот поезд в четверке. Гран-при. И предыдущий бой был с Бинсон Ли. В принципе, я его выиграл. И... Некоторые были нюансы там во втором-третьем раунде. Первый раунд, я считаю, что я его просто разнес. Мне нравится его стиль. Он, в принципе, такой опасный боец, ударник. Но я могу ему навязать как борьбу и в стойке, и в партере. То есть я считаю, что этот пояс... Будет мой. Вадим, мы творим историю М1. Этот пояс я заберу себе. Александр, мы оба хотим этот пояс. Давай узнаем, кто его хочет больше. Итак, господа, это пятираундовый титульный бой за пояс чемпиона М1 Челлендж в наилегчайшем весе. В синем Гурейджа спортсмен из Украины. Встречайте, Александр Доскальчу! Зажгли огни во вселенной только мы одни. Гни свою линию, гни свою линию, гни свою линию. of the evening M1 Challenge 83 from Kazan, Russia. To the winner goes M1's inaugural flyweight title. The Ukrainian Alexander Doskolchuk, seven and one in his pro MMA career. Six of those seven victories by way of finish. Five of those six coming in the first round. The lone victory that was not a finish, Doskolchuk's last bout. That was in the flyweight tournament semifinal round, M1 Challenge 78 in May. 
Phyllis Kolchuk defeated Vin Song Lee by majority decision to advance to this title bout. Kolchuk prides himself on a very aggressive style. He told me I consider myself a volume puncher over a power puncher. He said strikes to takedowns to the finish. Спортсмен в Красном Гурейже представляет Российскую Федерацию. Клуб «Север» город Сыктывкар и команду «Сечпро». По прозвищу «Бет Санта» встречайте Вадим Малыгин! Russian Vadim Maligan enters this title fight with a pro MMA record of 11 wins, two losses, one draw. Seven of those wins coming in under two minutes. Three of those 11 wins coming by way of one punch knockout. Maligan has real power. He had it as a bantamweight and he has carried that power with him down to flyweight. Maligan's last bout, semi-final number two of this flyweight tournament, M1 Challenge 78 in May. Maligan defeated Fabricio Sahafe by majority decision to earn this shot at the belt. Maligan said, I want to use heavy strikes to open up my submission game. Maligan said early on, my goal is to keep this fight standing, land big, heavy punches and kicks, constant pressure, always moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is for the M1 Challenge Flyweight title. So let me introduce your fighter in the blue corner. This fighter is 27 years old. He weighed in at 56.7 kilograms. He stands 175 centimeters tall and has a professional record of seven wins with only one loss. He is the European Pancration Champion silver medalist of the World Pancration Championship and national MMA champion from the Ukraine, Alexander Doskalchok. And now welcome his opponent in the red corner. This fighter is 23 years old. He weighed in at 56.7 kilograms. He stands 170 centimeters tall and has a professional record of eight wins, two losses with one draw. He is five-time regional hand-to-hand -hand combat champion, regional kickboxing champion, 
and winner of the Palmer Fights and Red City Fight Events. Representing Sever Team and Sesh Pro Team, please welcome Vadim Bad Santa Maligan. And the referee for this bout, Ukas Pusatsky. Alexander, Vadim. Okay, okay fighters, no rules. This is to my commands all the time. When I say stop, we stop. That's goes. Go back to your corners. Josh. Our co-main event Josh. of the evening. Josh. Scheduled for Ready. five rounds Ready. at stake. M1's Fight. inaugural flyweight title. The Ukrainian Alexander Doskalchuk versus the Russian Vadim Maligan. Round number one. Camouflage trunks for Doskalchuk. Blue trunks for Maligan. Well, it's nice to watch history in the making here, Sean. First ever flyweight champion for M1. Will be crowned tonight. Explosion of punches. The right and the left from Maligan. Those call chuck off of the striking line. Well, the fighters moving in rhythm. You see the footwork. Oh, nice fast hands there. Legan throwing the right. Yeah. Well, we've seen it a couple of times tonight. Das Kalchuk has that typical Russian boxing stance. The hand comes up and down in front. Oh, big right, right hand. hand off the left. See the head movement now from Dos Kolchuk. Yeah, that's one thing that Maligan lacks a little bit is the head movement. You can't criticize the hand movement. It's very fast. The, the, kick head, just misses the head the is on the center line all the time. Nice low kick. Hard outside kick. Took Dos Kolchuk off balance. Very measured, very tactical from both men. Yeah, very, very measured, Sean. Gauging the way in, gauging the way out, gauging the distance of the punches. There we go. Big oh! right hand in the left. <laughs> the shot, the double leg, and the takedown. Well, he rocked him with the punches. You think he would have stayed with those shots, but quite happy for the takedown. Legan punching from the bottom. Open half guard. Now half butterfly guard for Vadim Maligan. Yeah, Maligan's got the arms wrapped up. You just wonder if it was a little bit of a mistake there for Dos Kalchuk. In a sense that he got the takedown instead of finishing with strikes. 240 remaining round number one of this title fight. Dos Kalchuk trying to pass the side control. Push that knee through. Nice sit up by Maligan. Recapturing half guard. Big left hand to the body from Alexander Doskolchuk. Oh, big hand on the way up. And it shoots in again. It's the high crutch. Wasatsky warning Maligan for grabbing the ring ropes. Maligan working for a guillotine. Well, he worked for the guillotine not well. That Doskolchuk had to drop down. He's going to go for an armbar. Oh, he missed it. I thought he was going to go for an armbar. Legan seemed to have nearly landed machine and mounted triangle. Never looked for it though. 150 now remaining round one. Kolchuk trying to take the back from a very difficult angle. Yeah, Maligan needs to keep a hold of the head. He needs to pull the head around with his left arm. He needs to grab it. Oh, he's missed it now. But he needs to. He needed to grab a hold of the head and pull it through. Where is his left arm? It's there you go. See, his left arm just come out. He needs to put it over the top of the head instead of punching him. And try. There we go. That's it. Now he needs to try and pull himself out. Got a double. Malik it. Sucking in the legs. Nicely done. Trying it's to complete legal. the takedown and he does. Perfectly legal. He lifted the legs off the floor so he wasn't in a three point position. Close guard now for Dos Kolchuk. No complaints from our Polish referee, the outstanding Lukasz Bosanski. Right to the body. And another from Vadim Maligan. Close guard for Alexander Doskolchuk. Back and forth we go, round number one. Yeah, exactly back and forth because 
What started out was a good, good strike and a takedown. Maligan is now in top position. Kolchak walking up his guard. Nothing there. 20 seconds now remaining in this opening round. See the inside head positioning of Vadim Maligan. Staying tight, staying heavy. Right hand to the body. Well, a very close round, Sean, because those child does Kalchuk got the strike, he got the takedown, but then Maligans took over at the second half of the round, so very, very close. The end of round number one. The bounce and the step of Alexander does Kalchuk back in his corner. Does Kalchuk, he knows he can hit him with strikes, he knows he can knock him down. Maybe he needs to step back a little bit instead of going for the takedown, because Maligan will just reverse him again. Good left hand. Early stages of round number one from Vadim Maligan. So Skolchuk getting off with the right hand. You see the shrug from Maligan. No shrug there. That was a big right and the left. Knocking back Maligan. We are online, m1global.tv. 17 fight schedule, fighter bios, M1 and MMA news, fight videos, and more. M1Global.tv. Round number two, scheduled for five at stake, the M1 inaugural flyweight title. Ready? Ready? Fight. Both fighters again very cautious as we saw through much of round number one. The respect flowing heavily in both directions. Oh, he the level the change down. in the takedown. That was nicely executed by those call Chuck. Slick and technical. Passes well the side control as well, those Kalchuk. You can try to sit up and through. Needs to pull the hips out. There we go. Skolchuk doing exactly that on cue. Push the knees through now between the legs. End up on mount position. Butterfly guard looking for the butterfly sweep. See that gone round two. Remember we spoke about this earlier, Sean. Putting the hands on the canvas, that's what happens. You put the hands on the canvas, your opponent can wrap you up and tie you up. You need to have the hands on the inside, either on the chest or on the bicep. But hands on the inside is a lot safer than hands on the canvas. You still got the hands on the canvas there. You can work for swoops, you can work for Kimura, you can grab a hold. Trying to set through open half guard. Now the turn, Vadim Maligan, and back to his feet. Great work. This is a knowledgeable MMA crowd here in Kazan, Russia. They give Maligan a round of applause. Short, hard shots from those called Chuck. Maligan's going to try and sweep that back leg if he can. Osaski pulling both fighters back in. And again, inside knee from Maligan. Action. Action. Call for action from Mukash Posatsky. Well, it's good head control by Maligan, but the problem when you do head control when there's ropes is you end up on the outside of the ropes and the referee tries to pull you back in. Off the Bosatsky restart, center of the ring. Right hand from Maligan. Partially landed. Well, Maligan's just starting to take up the hand now, I think. Maligan, thus far, I think we've seen showing the willingness to throw bigger strikes. Oh, and a big right hand. Does that on cue? Left hand. Big body kick from Maligan. You see the corners. Lewis does call chucks. Red is Maligan's. Skolchuk trying to establish the jab. 
And again, nice one two by Maligan. He shoots for a double. He turns the corner and gets it. Great work in the side control. He to watch the regard. See the technique of Maligan. Oh, guillotine. He got regarded with a guillotine. This could be tight. He's got an arm in. See where the arm is in. That's giving him a little bit of saving grace. A lot of squeeze up from those called Chuck. Osatsky taking a really close look. Maligan trying to pop his head free. Tight on the guard. Technical submission. He's out. He's, out. He's gone to sleep. Maligan oh, wow. is out. And the title goes to those Kolchuk. Oh, my word. Technical submission win round number two. And with that, Alexander Dos Kolchuk becomes M1's inaugural flyweight champion. Well, great referee and by Ukas Pusatsky. He saw that he went limp. He pulled the arm to see if it was limp, and it was. And when it's limp, that means you've gone to sleep. Well, we have a new champion, our first ever flyweight M1 Challenge champion. The guillotine was in deep in the close guard. The full commitment from Alexander Doskolchuk. Getting the finish and getting the title. The follow on with the machine said, outstanding refereeing from Lukasz Posadzki. Recognizing how tight the submission was, recognizing when Maligan went out, immediately stopping the fight, ruling the technical submission win for Alexander Doskolchuk. Председатель Президиума Союза общественных деятелей Республики Татарстан Александр. A round of applause now for Vadim Maligan, happily back to his feet. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, after three minutes, 34 seconds of round two, we have a winner due to referee stoppage to a guillotine and your new M1 Challenge flyweight champion, Alexander Doskalchok. Great sports sportsmanship post-fight from both Alexander Doskalchuk and Vadim Maligan. The head of M1, Vadim Finkelstein, now in the ring. Applauding the crowning of the newest M1 champion, Alexander Doskalchuk, in the flyweight division. Hitting takedowns. That takedown by Maligan. Leading to the ending sequence. Close guard, the guillotine, the full commitment. Lukasz Bosatsky checks the left arm of Maligan. It falls limp. The technical submission ruled. To the title goes those called shots. 